वेलकम हैव नाइस डे टुडे इज थर्सडे थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर द राष्ट्रीय एकता दिवस और द नेशनल यूनिटी डे हैज़ बीन डी सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर सिंस टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन ऑन दिस अकेजन द पीपल ऑफ द कंट्री रिमेंबर द ग्रेट आईकॉन ऑफ नेशनलिज्म एंड प्लेज फॉर यूनिटी एंड इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ इंडिया World Saving Day was first started by the World Society of Saving Banks on 31st October that is today in 1924 starting the newspaper analysis with the newspaper the hindu states that locals must have first right on land employment resources omar abdullah jomain kashmir cm omar abdullah the jomain kashmir cm pledges to fight for the dignity of people pledging to fight for the dignity of people jomain kashmir minister Chief uh, Omar Abdullah on the Wednesday said locals uh, should have the first right on land, employment, and resources. If we can't live with dignity and our identity lacks value and honor, then all of these issues hold us no real meaning. I want to assure you that uh, we will fight for all that matters. But my first priority is to restore our dignity. We should have the first right to our land, our employment, and our resources. Only then we can truly say that this country respects our honor and dignity, Mr. Omdullah said. Freedom of the page. The chief minister also highlighted the importance of the strengthening democratic institutions and preserving freedom of speech and said our institutions need to be strengthened. Without freedom of speech, there is no real democracy. I know my colleagues and I might often be are the first targets of this freedom, but that is the essence of democracy. Press, judiciary, bar associations, labor unions, and other organizations must be strengthened, creating an environment of peace and mutual respect. Mr. Abdullah said. Government looking uh, for a transparent, efficient procurement model for the 114 multi-role fighter aircraft tender. The daily in procurement is due to the cautionary approach to avoid a controversy as in the Rafale jet issue. This comes in the backdrop of the controversy over the deal of 36 Rafale uh, jets. Indian Air Force is an uh, urgent need of new fighter jets to adjust its falling fighter squad and strength. In the backdrop of the controversy in the procurement of 36 roughly G fighter jets, the government is the looking at a procurement model that is transparent and non-controversial for the acquisition of 114 multi-role fighter aircraft MRF-18 that has been stuck for several years now. Informant sources said the Indian Air Force uh, IAF is facing a severe shortage in its squad strength and looking for the quick induction of jets. Because of the previous experiences, a recruitment process is being thought of uh, and also to ensure a high level of indigenization, the government sees out of the issue of Indian Air Forces and fighter squadrons and decision may be taken in the next few months, a source in the know said. The government is intent on doing what is required for the Indian Air Force, the source is pressed. Bricks plus group share in global goods exports can overtake G7 by 2026. EY India. Officials, including Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, Egyptian President uh, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, Chinese President Xi Jinping, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, President of United Arab Emirates Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Iranian President Masoud Pazikian, and Brazilian Foreign Minister Mauro Vera attend the BRICS summit in Kazan, Russia, October 23, 2024. From 2000 to 2023, the BRICS Plus Group's share of global merchandise exports has risen from 10.7% to 23.3%, marking an impressive increase of 12.6% points. The share of BRICS Plus Group in global merchandise exports can overtake the G7 block by 2026, EY India said. Uh, on Wednesday, October 30, 2024, the October edition of EY Economy uh, Watch reveals a significant shift in the global trade dynamics, with the BRICS Plus Group are rapidly increasing its share in merchandise exports and imports. 
going towards the Hindustan Diamond newspaper stated that continuous efforts led to the India China consensus on line of actual control pullback Rajnath Singh. Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh urged the soldiers to remain alert and ready to deal with the threats which may emerge from ever evolving global security scenario. New Delhi Defense Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday said India and China reached a consensus to restore the ground situation in certain areas along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh on the back of continuous effort. India and China were in diplomatic and military talks to resolve their conflicts in some areas along the line of actual control. We have reached a consensus following our continuous efforts. We achieved this success due to the war and discipline and courage. We will continue this process of peace restoration based on the consensus Singh said in Tilsburg, where he celebrated Diwali with the troops of headquarters for corps. His comments came on a day when the Indian and Chinese armies completed their disengagement from the Depsang and Demchok in eastern Ladakh. With both sides now carrying out joint verification of the troop and equipment pulled back to a specified and mutually agreed distance from the face of sites. Dali's ear quality index tanks off as air disaster looms on Diwali. Children burst crackers on the ear of the Diwali at Old Rajendra Nagar in New Delhi on Wednesday. Pollution levels in Delhi surged and returned to very poor zone of the air quality index on Wednesday as the thin clock of Craig Hayes shattered the stage, setting the stage for the potentially bursting Diwali. When the flagrant use of the firecrackers will likely drag the capital into yet another annual air emergency. The air quality index jumped to 307 at 4 p.m. Compared to 268 poor at the same time the previous day, Central Pollution Control Board CPCB data showed, with barely any surface level in the sub note. Even as the long range transport winds began blowing in from the northwest once again, sweeping in them uh, hazardous plumes of smoke from farm fires in Punjab. By 11 pm, the air quality index was to 317. This wind is coupled with the violations of the Bedang Cat Fried Kickers ban. It may give Dolly if it is first traced uh, with the Cerro air this season. Experts warn that as the capital neared uh, the end of the most polluted October since 2020. Now going towards the economy of the country from the business point of view, cement production will pack for a slowdown in September month uh, sector output. Out of the eight key infrastructure sectors, uh, three sectors, crude oil, natural gas, and electricity recorded construction, contraction in September month, while coal, refinery products, fertilizers, steel, and cement were in the positive territory. Cumulated so far in the financial year, core, core, sector, sorry, a core sector output has grown 4.2% during the April month uh, up to September month, as against 8.2% in the year ago period. SEBI proposes 30 day deadline for MF deployment uh, of NFO procedures, specified timeline of NFO documents on the fund deployment. In another consultation paper, SEBI and AMC should specify achievable uh, timelines in the SID regarding the deployment of the funds as per the specified asset allocation of the scheme and should garner funds during the NFO accordingly. Railway Indian Renewables uh, Ministry of Union with the civic comment to enhance technology track and infrastructure. The original Ministry of Union signed on August 31st, 2017 was valid uh, for five years. In October 2023, the Swiss side had shown neediness in renewing the pact on rail sector cooperation union Minister of Railways, Ashnavi Vishnu. Now going towards the world news, including Air India to cancel 60 flights operating between India and United States road aim at peak travel season. Aim at optimism or Middle East ceasefire Biden officials ahead to Israel to meet the Prime Minister in the Hanyahu Elon Musk buys $35 million mansion in Texas for his 11 children report. Harris was to serve all Americans uh, disagrees with the Biden's Trump uh, supporters garbage remark. Hezbollah's new leader who was to continue conflict with the Israeli Union until a suitable ceasefire term was reached. 
18 year old Trump supporter charged with the aggravated uh, assault against a horse supporters with the match. According to the Science and Technology in the National of Science, announced the distinguished alumnus uh, and alumna awards. Brody. This year, the institute has also initiated young alumnus alumina medals for the recipients uh, under the age of 40 years. Six scientists and engineers have been selected to receive the distinguished alumnus awards of the institute in the Institute of Science for the 2024. This year, the institute has also initiated young alumina. For recipients under the age of 40, these awards recognize the exceptional contributions made by our Institute of Science alumni to their profession, society, and the institute. The nomination was received by evaluated by committee chaired by the Indian Institute of Science Director. This year's Distinguished Alumnus Award winners are George Brody, Sri Devi Chade, Shekhar Chintamani Amande, S. Uni Krishnan, Nerut, Jagjit Nanda, and Yadati Nara Shiri. This year's Young Alumni Medalists are Hima Bindu, Lakarjar Lakaraju and Nihar Bharadesh Shah. The area these will be honored at the ceremony to be held in the December month. Indian Council of Medical Research invites expression of interest from poems uh, for making anemia detection device. Council wants to expand their effective screening network of anemia among different age population across India. The Indian Council of Medical Research ICM has invited expression of interest EOI from eligible organizations, companies, startups for manufacturing non-invasive and minimally invasive hemoglobinometer. The device is intended to aid the detection of anemia. A key national health priority under the anemia Mukt Bharat program AMB. Aimed at expanding the effective screening network of anemia among different age populations across the India. The Council, which is Apex body in India for, for formation, formulation, coordination and promotion of the biomedical research, said that over the past few years several make in India are non-invasive, minimally invasive, hemoglobinometer devices had been uh, become available. However, these devices need to be validated to establish their accuracy, bias and precision of the of the non-invasive point of care methods before their use can be recommended in the program, the Indian Council Medical Research said. Rohini Godbol, a passion for high energy physics and gender equity. Professor Godbol was a role a model for young researchers, particularly women scientists struggling against the gender bias and negative attitudes. Quality of physical studies are the outcome of the high energy collisions between the microscopic particles such as protons or electrons to learn about the fundamental constituents of our universe. If one mentions this subject in the context of India, the name of the Rohini Goldbowl will be among the first to come up. Professor Goldbowl passed away on October 25. Of brief illness, she was 71. Born into a middle class Pune family committed to education and learning, she became an internationally renowned theoretical physicist. Her parents support her career choice, but she faced condensation, condensation uh, and gender bias from the professional colleagues at a crucial stage of her career. Yet it was not in her nature to be discouraged. She got through, it, uh, through the difficult times with uh, energy and determination with a passion for research and an ability to inspire the students. In time, she won the global recognition as the com accomplished researcher, educator, policy maker and administrator of science. A graduate of SP College in Pune, Professor Godbole got a master's degree at IIT Bombay and went on to do a PhD at the Univers State University of New York at Stony Brook. Now Stony Brook University in the U.S. During the 1970s, uh, the physics department under the leadership of Chinese-American Nobel laureate S.E.N. Yang uh, had developed a top-class doctoral program. A likely E.V. League or colleagues that could be prejudiced against students from India in those days. 
Stony Brook was more open-minded in the fact it quickly became the enthusiastic about Indian students largely due to the success of early recruits such as Professor Goldball. Now at last uh, we come her biography, Rohini Goldball, birth and the city, 12th of November 1952. Up to 25 to up October 2024, was an Indian physicist and academic specializing in elementary particle physics, field theory and phenomenology. She was a professor at the Center for High Energy Physics in the Institute of Science Bangalore. She worked extensively on the different aspects of the particle phenomenology over three decades, in the particular on exploring different aspects of the standard model of particle physics <coughs> Sorry, and the physics beyond it. Her work regarding the hydronic uh, structure of high energy photons outlined in a variety of ways in which to study it and has had implications for the design of the next generation electron positron collidors. She was an elected fellow of all the three academies of science of India and also the Science Academy of the developing world. Rohini Godbol, she says that more than gender your intellectual abilities and interests play a crucial role for girls who aspire to join science indian physicist padmashri awadi rohini godpal okay thank you